ladies and gentlemen, there's one more cutting edge award tonight, and it's my profound honor to present the next winner, who is a very thought-provoking and percepted uh, and gifted writer. Uh, a lot of us who've been covering Israel remember the first time we went, and there is a profound division in Israeli society that is almost subterranean and not spoken about, which is the division between uh, Ashkenazi or European Jewry and people from Middle Eastern lands, Jews uh, uh, who are from the Arab lands. Our next winner uh, wrote a critically acclaimed book about that. Uh, it was um, praised as being very courageous, which I think is the thread which runs through all her writing. Um, she has a very strong moral compass. You might not always agree with her, but you can hear very loudly the sound of nails being hit squarely on the head as you read. She also has a lot of empathy, and I think that is something which is missing uh, from uh, much of the journalism of the Middle East. She has that in abundance. And so I'm very proud to say that our winner tonight is. Of course the conflict is about land, but it's also about culture and it's people's right to um, uh, express that culture in the Middle East. And I think, you know, if Israel wants to be in the Middle East, then it should be. In the Middle what's East, really important is here is that Abbas has succeeded in breaking the deadlock and breaking uh, the US monopoly on um, two decades of peace talks that have gone nowhere. We also a situation where Israel has been able to go to war in Lebanon in 2006 or go at an assault uh, in Gaza in 2009 and it has done that knowing that Egypt will not do anything with that. I Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, thank you to the NCF. Thank you, Lord Stone. Um, well, it was quite an honor to be on a shortlist of such exemplary journalists whom, um, whom I really admire and whose high standards are a real source of uh, inspiration to me. Um, but uh, I don't work, obviously, just through other journalists, um, my work would not be possible without the hundreds of uh, researchers and analysts and campaigners and human rights advocates and lawyers um, on the ground, especially in Israel-Palestine, and countless people who let me into their lives and let me ask really stupid questions and trust me uh, to tell their stories. So. You know, it's really great. It's such an honor to be given this award because it's a real reminder of, of what a privilege that is to be able to tell those stories and how important it is to keep having those voices heard. So thank you very much. Thank you.